Hello YouTubers, Traws here, and I'm playing some more Dwarf Fortress. I'm going to continue where I left off from last time. Uh, we had just gotten through uh, winter, and uh, we had started, we had actually completed bedrooms, as you can see here, and we had started working on this, um, it's going to become a great hall. So, um... Yeah. Well, let's see how we are here. It's early spring. We have 16 dwarfs. No meat or fish. It's a little concerning. But uh, plenty of plants. Plenty of drink. Plenty of other. Um, which, if I look at my stocks... No meat, fish... But yeah, we have uh, 200 prepared meals here, so... Uh, we got some pond turtle biscuits... Egg... Goose egg biscuits... Uh, goat intestine stew... A few different stews here, actually. Um, and some roasts. Roasts are... Uh, I believe biscuits are the uh, low quality meals or easy meals. Uh, stews are the medium meals, and roasts are the uh, uh, high quality or fancy meals. So, uh, yes, we definitely have enough uh, food to last for a while. So, um,. Yeah, we had, uh, miners were digging out here, and, uh, we just started our, uh, metal smithing, and, uh, we're standing orders. We got some, make some barrels, make charcoal, and smelt some magnetite ore to make some iron. The other ore we have here is hematite, and uh, I had looked that up just as, or I was trying to look that up just as we were finishing up last time, and uh, well, hematite is also an iron ore. So lots of iron here. We do have what is this here? Casserite. So that's tin. Um not that useful. So, um, let's say flat. Three, two or three videos ago, I had trained a dog and I wanted to chain him up near the entrance to catch intruders or to at least alert that there were intruders. So I just ordered five chain to be made. So after we get enough bars, uh, one of these dwarfs should go to the forge and uh, make some chain. Looks like we're still smelting. Oh, look, this room's all dug out now. Um, not sure how to do this. I, I, <laughs> I like to make 
multi-story rooms for the great meeting halls, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, so I'm going to try something here. Um, I want to designate um, downward stairway. I'm going to put that here. And then below, I'm going to make a up down. And then one more below, I'll put an up only stairway. That's so we got the up, up, down, and just down. And that will let the dwarfs get to the three different levels. Um, let's, uh, let's dig that out. First, yeah, we're out of seeds. It's fine. No coal. Well, make some more charcoal. Got a guy here, and he's dug this area out. I am going to mine horizontally like that. What I want to do is I want to leave a 2x2 two two landing, well, <laughs> here. And then I want to make a ramp down and then have another 2x2 two two landing and then a ramp down. Hmm. That means I put my mine order here in the wrong spot. Good thing I checked. Or good thing I explained it. Um, D. And I just need to make sure that this is still in the room. Great, it is, but... <laughs> Remove the second row. There we go. Actually, that probably would have been okay. Um, it's a little complex to see what I'm going to do right now if you've never seen it done before, but hopefully in a minute. So this is one floor down, that's two, great. So I want to build ramps here. Or at least from here going down. And then the similar on the other side. And then right here as well. 
and then right here as well and then I'll just so these will kind of be a, my two by two landings As you can see now, there's ramps down. Ugh, oh, no way! All right. Now that I have those ramps in, I want to get in the ramps down to what will be the final floor so I'll designate some more ramps And that should pretty much, well, won't do it, but um, then I can just dig out the rest as if it was a, uh, Sir, you can't do that there. a uh, channel, which digs out the space to walk and also digs out the floor to the section below. Um, so what I will now do is designate a channel and it's going to be a little tricky. you still need a path for the dwarfs to get to this location so I don't want to cut off the stairs here well we we don't need the stairs anymore we have the ramps um, but I want to you know you have to let the dwarf here get all the way to the back basically um Seeing what I needed to do to remove these stairs eventually. Let's see how we're doing down here. No chain yet, but we have made some more charcoal. I think it's being used for smelting. I think we do have two. Uh, guys working right now. Looks like we may need some more bins. Do have a few barrels left still.
All right. So let's channel again. More kittens. Um, keep running out of coal. Um, which one of you did I make? Chief Metal. Oh. Either. Um, let's assign somebody. Yeah, two. Okay. Well, apparently, neither of the two surgeons have actual diagnostic skill but apparently the uh, expedition leader has some so I'm going to go to oh he is a competent mace dwarf um Gonna learn how to become a furnace operator. So it looks like we need. Looks like it need. Yeah, we need more furnace operating. Mm -hmm. Handle the making of the uh, charcoal. out here. Drink. We're running low on wood again. not many trees at all.
we'll just have about deforested this place uh, pretty soon. Oh, here's a nice uh, section of trees. But, um, yeah, not too much more after that. Ah, Mikerins, dibs on the cute female, ha. Huh? Oh, uh, that didn't sound lecherous, did it? <laughs> okay. Um What do we have? I'm going to assign these guys uh, to the military. Um, uh, gee, he's a hammer dwarf, he's the Marcus dwarf. He's also a hammer dwarf. All right, so I am making a new squad. I'm gonna give say these guys will wear leather armor, but that really uh, or metal armor, I should say. Um. He is part of the Diamond Works now. And he is part of the Diamond Works now. He will be part of the Snarling Channels, which is a archery squad. To general, sword dwarf, hammer dwarf, spear dwarf. So I will hit preferences. And assign all of these guys. to the melee squad as well. What we got here we got a lamb. And it looks like another archery guy.
Now this guy looks like he also would be a good Marks Dwarf, but he is also a gem setter. Guinea cock that came with them. Um, you know, well, even though this guy's a good gem setter, I don't think I need a gem setter at the moment. A Mark's Dwarf, I think. Would be, uh... More useful. And he was a melee guy. General. You can always use a brewer. Um, this guy's a metal crafter. Which is um, something we're looking for right now. So, labor, got metal smithing. I'll put them on all those. Um, he's a brewer. But he can also do some other farming related stuff. That should be good for them. Or him. <laughs> so many immigrants. It's not good. I think I'll be doing anything with glass at the moment. Not sure. I don't think we really need that many guys in our military. What we have... Oh, three more. How many more do we have? Engineer may be useful. Um, I do need soap. At least for the hospital. Um, Many guys with nearly the same uh, skills. Um,
Wow. This is a lot of immigrants. And Graver. I'm gonna need him. Uh, trapping. Turn on animal care as well. turn on his gem setting as well. There was another gem setter guy, but um, I believe I assigned him. Ooh, here we go. Woodcutter. Great. Go cut wood. Mason. We can use another mason. Good for the military. You will be the uh, farming jack of all trades. Finally, whoo! Wow, we went from sixteen, we're up to forty. Okay. While we're paused, this is gonna take a little, little bit of uh, planning out here. I think. Uh, so I'm cutting this area. I'm going to put another mason's uh, shop in here. Um, cause we're going to need more rooms. Uh, so for the moment at least, the uh, big meeting hall is going to be on hold. I wish there was some sort of copy and paste functionality for designations. There actually probably is through use of uh, DF hack, which is included with the lazy new pack that I'm using. I've just never really used it and. Uh, do have a system here that sort of works. Takes a little bit of time, but it's not that bad. Okay, uh, now we need stuff. I want 20 doors, I have 20 rooms, 20 beds. Cabinets, 
and 20 coffers. So as soon as those get validated, we have a lot of people now. Stray cow calf. Where did that come from? Um, to me, that means uh, we need to assign the cow calf to this pasture. Or else it will starve to death. I think. Let's assign the lamb as well. I think everything else. Uh, these chicks and guinea cocks and. Whatever. They're small animals and they are considered to not need to be assigned to a pasture. Um, oh, we can make rock nest boxes. That's good. Let's let's make some nest boxes as well. Puppies, you ever get the chain? I don't see it there, which... Oh. 20... Iron chain has been completed. Great. Um... So let's build a... No, it's a restraint. Um, at least it used to be called restraint. V! It's right at the bottom there. See the one guy is really fast. Let's uh he's a grand master miner. Um the other guy seems to disappear. Oh no, there he is. He's only a competent miner. Meanwhile, I'm going to need some more, um, more places for people to stay. Specifically, <laughs> um, we need another. Well, we need. I'm gonna turn the dormitory into a barracks, but I'm gonna need a second barracks for the other squad. So let's.
Uh, it's probably much bigger than I need, but I'm gonna use it for dual purposes. Okay. So we metal crafter. We may have a problem here. So what happens is occasionally dwarfs get an idea in their head of some object that uh, they just must build. And um they'll stop at nothing till they can construct it. So you see he's in a strange mood here. And he flashes with exclamation point. Now since he's a, a metal crafter uh, it's probably gonna take over the forge. And I claim this workshop in the name of invention! Okay, then. Um, so he'll need some items now. And... Let's see if... Oh, let me... Alright. Okay, it looks like he might have just needed some iron bars. Um... If he doesn't start the construction, you can use uh, a few different, uh, sometimes Q, and looking at the building, we'll, you'll see some messages of what he needs. And occasionally it's T, I think. Uh, but, you know, it'll, it will be cryptic, but it'll be something like, oh, he draws... Uh, pictures of trees which means he needs woods or you know glowing gems or something to that effect you know and he needs gems and sometimes it's a specific type uh, sometimes it's not oh. looks like our hunter is going hunting and we now have some reports here um Oh, so it looks like the hunter here has actually was shooting at a weasel. Actually, it looks like he has the weasel. Um, yes, you get these reports uh, whenever there's some type of combat. You see the uh, him in the right rear poor paw. Ah. Uh, tearing apart the skin, and apparently it was enough to cause him to bleed to death or something like that. Weasels aren't very, uh, tough animals. Um, but hopefully that will cause uh, the weasel to automatically be Butchered, which um, indicates I'm going to start needing to do something with these skins. And that's probably way bigger than needed as well. So much work to do. Why do we have 13 idlers? Yes. Everything's being stored in stockpiles that needs to be. Um And 
we got magnetite. Smelt ten more magnetite. Make some picks. Maybe we can get some more miners out of here. Where are we at? Mid spring. has been completed. Hooray! Okay, so he made a iron toy axe. It's basically an iron craft. That's interesting. Not what I would have liked. Usually, or occasionally they make legendary furniture. Really, really high quality piece of furniture that can be placed in room and make someone really happy. So now I can press L and look at this artifact. It's got a basic value of 24,000 coin, I guess, that is. <laughs> um, and it weighs only 7 whatever things or weight <laughs> has, the units. Mm. Iron toy axe, all craft dwarfship is the of the highest quality. It is studded with iron. It's called the Masonic in incenses, it's iron toy axe, something right before it, but it's under a little FPS counter. Um, okay then. One thing you do want to be careful of is not to trade away that item, as it will make that the dwarf who created it very unhappy. Of course, if you didn't have the items you needed to make the uh, legendary uh, item that they were thinking of, um, a dwarf will generally go insane and either work very, very slowly or not work any further, and generally they find some way to kill themselves. Either if that's jumping off a high place or drowning themselves in a lake, it's generally not good and kind of brings down the mood of all the other dwarfs. But uh, this was successful, so. Alright, we got more kittens. We're out of logs. We should have got two guys cutting down trees now. So that's always good. Three more picks. those sounds are if that's the uh, training um, no longer a dormitory you are now a barracks you are a barracks of the diamond works and they will Train here as well. Um, what that means is um, we need some armor stands and weapons racks. Let's look at the military screen now. Military screen is actually somewhat complex. Uh, I'm not sure that I totally understand it. Um, looks like each squad can have up to five, uh, sorry, ten people in it. <laughs> I have the diamond work selected right now, and I have, there's apparently six guys in it. And 
you can add more people. Um, or is there equipment? So I hit E for equip. Um, Yeah, I'm not actually really sure. <laughs> um, let's see you. All right, so they're assigned for metal. Don't really have metal armor. And I want these guys be set for archery. So they'll carry food and drink. You can set up schedules. Um, Here's the problem, yeah, you can set up schedules. Right now they're set to train, but they need a minimum of 10, and neither of them have 10. Um, so I want to edit the order. Um, train. I want to say two. Copy. Well, paste, 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 paste. I want to make it so that they're stationed or at, near the entrance.
Why can't I get the station order to come up? Um... What if I hit squads? Um, Station one. And now when I go into the military and hit schedule. And here we go. Copy that. Basically, I want every other month. Um, well, every other month. The, uh, for the I want any of that I'll figure that out next time. That's taking what, way too much time. Um, one thing I never did. We got this chain here. I am going to assign the war dog to the chain. Okay. I want first tanning shop. Um, make it on a granite. I want a leather works. Granite will do as well. No, 
I want a pile. Um, custom settings. Corpse. I only want fresh raw hides in this pile. No bones, no shells, no teeth, no hooves. Be good for now. Another mason's shop. Almost have all the rooms down here dug out.
Ooh. Uh, so we got our hunter apparently is hunting some more. And, uh, so he was shooting at a goose. There's a goose, and it looks like some steel bolts and copper bolt. Oh, and here's the hunter over here. Almost didn't see him. Let's, uh, let's walk. Oh. We got the one and the other one looks uh, pretty injured, leaving uh, spatterings of blood all over the place. It looks like we do have meat and fish now from hunting. I think we have a fishery guy as well. You can see we now are, we're showing wealth on this uh, screen now that well we didn't originally we didn't have a bookkeeper uh, but we now do have one with a sufficient skill um, so created wealth is total wealth created and it's broken down into weapons uh, which I guess those picks that we I made count haven't made any armor or clothing yet we have made some furniture and lots of other objects. Uh, the wealth of the architecture and displayed things are things that are, you've built in places. Uh, how are we doing here? Uh, just about three weeks more. Not that much time, really hope. We've got two masons going now. Um, blinking means uh, they're highly skilled here. So we got a highly skilled miner, highly skilled metal crafter, highly skilled stone crafter. Um. Dwarves have organized a party. Everyone's invited. Yeah. Partying is nice. The only problem is, um... It makes a lot of dwarfs not work. Tend the party. Two miners at the top are attending the party. So we have an elven caravan, and um, well, that could be good and bad. Now the elves, well, they're picky. They have some good stuff, a lot of wood actually, which is what I do need. But they don't like you hurting plants or animals. So they're not going to be happy about me chopping down a lot of the trees in the area. And I have to be careful not to trade them any trees. Uh, in general, actually, I don't want to trade them even the bins that the items are in. Although they'll not make a fuss about the bins themselves. 
Um, they are a good way to get exotic pets, though. Uh, they do humanely trap some animals and will trade them to you. Um, so let's cassowary, a giant tick. Sure. <laughs> um, so, where are they? They. Yeah, the elves don't come in big caravans. They just have a few pack animals that they lead. Well, I'm surprised I'm not seeing as any um, guards. Although, if I recall correctly, they don't really. Have that many. Ooh. Okay, where are we? So, so this is the south. Southeast. And our hunter here. Our hunter here, a ranger, I should call him. Notice a cobalt thief. Um, oh. So the flying copper bolt strikes the cobalt thief in the left hand, chipping the bone. An artery has been opened by the attack, a ligament has been torn, and a tendon has been torn. Second bolt hits the right hand, chipping the bone and fracturing the right wrist bone. Ligament has been torn and a tendon has been torn. Um, I'm so Assuming this was in the hand and these were in the wrist. So let's, um, Thief is currently unconscious. Right hand, left hand, right wrist, and lower leg, which I'm assuming Um, assuming that was done later. Yeah, leg chipping the bone. Another strike to the right hand. What do we see from the cobalt's point of view? So the first hit. He gives into the pain and falls over. And then when he was hit in the right hand, he lost hold of his large copper dagger. Looks like he's trying to escape. Strikes him in the head. Ooh. Tearing the muscle and tearing the upper spine's nervous tissue. Apparently it woke him up, though. Getting hit in the head. Lower body. Tearing through the guts. And his tunic. Thief looks sick. Upper leg. Through the silk tunic, tendon was torn, upper body, through the false rib, and tearing the right lung. 
having trouble breathing, and it lodged firmly in the wound. Unfortunately, it looks like he's trying to escape to the edge, and the ranger isn't approaching, so his shots are missing. Sorry, sir, I can't do it. Okay. No. I said no. Uh, merchants have arrived. So let's request a trader. He's attending a party right now. Yells also have a. Sir, you can't do that there. Bring a lot of wooden training. I can't do it. I swords can't. and training things like that. Oh, I won't do it. Sorry, I can't do it, sir. Where is this? The manager of the expedition leader. <laughs> expedition leader. Stop partying, you have work to attend to. Well, we do have doors that we can install while we're waiting. And looks like we have enough beds as well. Out of beds. Party breakup? Nope. There's a lot of the people who were just hanging out have now uh, started grabbing the furniture. trying to determine where relative to our oh yeah. where'd he go not too far away from our entrance but we are detecting them early so People coming down to the river for no. Why was that miner over there? 
Well, that's a fisher dwarf, so he's gonna be down there. We shouldn't have other dwarfs going down to the river. And you're still partying. You're up here. It's just a few days till the end of spring, so you're probably going to be partying to the end of spring. Hopefully the uh, elves will uh, stick around so your party's finished. Do we not have a tanner? We don't have a leather worker. Um... Great. The expedition leader has gone to sleep. It's the party tired him out. Let's um make some bedrooms. They're not really complete, but they're enough to hold the new guys over. Still haven't gotten two more beds. Alright, um, this room up here on the other side of this um, dining room, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be uh, both a barracks and an archery range. So let's um, build build some targets. Except I don't know what they're called. Archery. Well, archery target is capital A. Um. I'm going to build them out of wood just because that's what they'd be built out of in real life. I'm not really sure if that does anything for you in the game. Wouldn't expect that it would. And now it's it summer. Now summer. Um, so I'm gonna stop here. Um, hope to get a little further on the uh, large meeting hall, but um, well, things happen. <laughs> That's Dwarf Fortress. Um, gonna see if I can set up something special for next time. Um, if anyone has any ideas on how to, uh, Set up the training schedule. Looks like I do have some of the guys sleeping in the barracks. Uh, but if you have any suggestions on uh, setting up a training schedule, uh, you know, please leave them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.